everyone, Minnie here, freelance illustrator, travel journaler and YouTuber, and today I wanted to share with you this awesome new paper that Strathmore have added to their toned mixed media line. Now, you're probably already familiar with their classic tan and grey toned papers. This latest addition to the family comes in a lovely blue tone, and I thought I'd share some of its features while painting a rather colourful fish. I'm using coloured pencils and gouache and maybe anything else that takes my fancy along the way, which actually brings us to the first point about this paper. Being a mixed media pad, it's manufactured to suit an array of wet applications such as markers and ink, watercolours, gouache, even acrylic. The paper actually has a smoother drawing surface, so it's also well suited to dry media, coloured pencils, graphite, pastel. It's a real all-rounder. I'm using acrylic gouache here, just loosely blocking in general colours, layering and mixing as I go. The key with colourful work like this is to focus on your values, so which areas are going to be lighter or darker. If you get that right, you can really let loose on what colours you choose. I'm not too worried about laying on the paint, saturating the page. As you can see, I'm really going in with the water here. As this is heavyweight paper at 300 GSM or 184 pounds, it can take it. Once that's all dry, I finish off with some details in coloured pencil and finally a few highlights with white gel pen. This blue tone paper comes in four sizes, uh, 6x8 inches, 9x12, 11x14 and 18x24, with each pad containing 15 sheets and a bucket load of potential. I think it's brought a fab new dimension to my art and I'm looking forward to experimenting more and seeing how else it can bring my work to life. I would love to hear how you all use tone paper too. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.